Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a little teeny tiny package just come through the door today and I thought you might like to have a look at it with me. So let's get in and have a look. I have had a sneak peek uh, and this one has come from the shop Dozo Art, the sorry Dozo Art store on AliExpress and it's just a little set of paintings that I saw and I thought they were really cute. I thought oh well I'll have a look and see what they're like and then I might have to get the whole set. So yeah, we have some little princesses um, and I just thought they were really sweet. And I'm not sure whether they're just normal resin drills or acrylic drills or whether they're jewels. So let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at this one first. So we'll just put those three little ladies over that side and see what these are like. Yeah, they've come out in a new mini painting set. And I think you can see which princesses they all resemble. I think there's another six, possibly six or seven. Um, but I thought I'd just get these four for now to see what they're like. Because I didn't want to get them all and then find that I didn't like them and waste my money. Um, they've all come out at, with taxes and postage. £4.20 each. So, not bad. Um, okay, wow. <laughs> So we've got a huge key code on both side, sides that is actually all numbers. So they're very good for uh, young ones if they're wanting to learn numbers. And yeah, we've even got down to number 13 there. Look, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So it'd be interesting to see what the colours are. She looks very, very pale at the moment. Let's just give this a little bit of a squash down. So a little bit... Uh, rolled up at the moment see how we go Ooh, doesn't want to come off come on come on just give it a helping hand there okay just give her a little bit of a squidge down yeah i'm hoping that she's going to be a little bit pink like she is on her uh, little thumbnail there because that just looks very very white <laughs> she's as white as the clouds goodness me Mind you, I've got quite a few drills, so it will be uh, probably easy to add a few colours in. Oh, I just can't get hold of these today. My hands are not working. Okay, so, yes, we have a, a mermaid with a little star in her hair and the sea in the background. Actually, these won't be clouds, will they? Because I don't suppose she's actually uh, outside. I think she must be uh, under the sea. Right, okay, so let's have a look. So it looks like, oh, oh, we've got a mixture of drills. Okay, the drill field looks like one of those like partial, um, it looks quite sort of um, apart rather than in straight lines as such. So it'll be interesting to see how this one does up as to whether you do get little gaps in between or not. So let's see what our colours are. Let's see, okay. Um, there's no DMC codes and are they DMC codes on the bags? You know, they could be DMC codes on the bags. 891760. Yeah, I think we have DMC codes on the bags. So I must remember that when I kick these up because I don't want to throw these bags away. Okay. So let's see what colours we have. Right. Yeah, because we've got LZ307, which could be the DMC code there as well. Uh, number two is the star, which is the uh, yellow there. The goldy yellow. Oh, we've got a few different ones. Okay, so just a little bit different. Right, let's have a look then. So we've got the purple for a dress. You see, we've got the yellow gold for her little star in her hair. And then we've got the orangey colour, number three and number seven. So is that the coral number seven? So they're the two colours that we're going to be doing her hair, which is quite uh, a stark colour, quite, uh, yeah, dramatic, that. Sorry about the shadow, I've had to put the light on today. Would you believe it's gone a little bit dark? Can't believe it after all the sun we've had. And um, we've got a brown there, that's probably her eyebrows. We've got a green, 
which is number six. So, oh, that's going to be, yeah, that's all around you, like little seaweedy bits there. And then we've got a blue. So is that the seaweedy as well? Is that number nine? Yeah. So six and nine, they're going to be like your, ooh, different colours to go together. Okay. And then we've got a beige colour. And then we've got a slightly, ooh, three different whites. So, yeah, this is um, like one of your special, um, like bubble rounds, like your, I call them, a full coverage special drill painting where practically the whole of the painting is covered um, but in this case it's actually acrylic gems rather than all of your lovely sparkly gems so this will be different to do so what's her skin colour then is number is number 10 oh, okay so we've got a little bit of a beige colour for a skin colour so that's not so bad then I was thinking, gosh, if we're going to do with this stark white, she'll look as though she's had a shock, will she? <laughs> she'll look like she's seen a ghost. Right, so yeah, it's going to be that colour. I think I'd have preferred her maybe a bit pink. But then maybe with the hair colour, if it had been pink, it might have been too much. Because that's your skin tone there. And then your hair colours. Yeah, we'll see how that one turns out. I might have to change that out, but we'll do it as is for now. So yeah, 13 colours on a little painting. That's quite sweet, I like that one. Okay, so let's just measure. I think this will probably be about a 15 by 15 centimetre, but we'll have a look and see. Nice card making sizes, these. Yeah, it's actually the drill field area is just under 15 and a half, which is six inches by exactly 15 that way, which is just under six inches. So basically like a six by six inch square. So these would be quite nice actually on a seven inch by seven inch card. Uh, so you can just put a little bit around the edges. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say great for kids to do. It is school holidays at the moment. Um, and, you know, you can have a nice little series of pictures. But so I think I may make these into greetings cards because I think I've got a few little girls that might quite like these. Okay, so that's a mermaidy style one. Let's pop those back in there. Okay. So that's number one. And then we've just got a little toolkit, which is your boat, pen and wax. And then this one is another little princess. They do look strange with the very white faces. I wonder why they've done them that way. <laughs> okay, so, oh, look at her. She's pretty. Now, she would have quite a white face, albeit her thumbnail does make her look, again, a little bit pinker. Again, all numbers, and we're down to 11 on this one. So, let's just... Give her a little bit of a squidge down, just flatten her out a little bit. She's got a very pretty smile. Okay. Right. Again, same toolkit, pen, boat and wax. And again, a mixture of your little like, gems, your crystal gems and your acrylic. Feed your acrylic drills. So, hmm. Interesting. I've not done ones like this before. Let's just give this one a quick measure. I think they're all going to be about the same. But I just thought they were quite cute. So, yeah, we're talking about a six inch square, which is about a 15 inch, uh, 15 centimetre square. But yeah, she's pretty. She's got her apples around her look and she's got a little bow in her hair and everything. Just nice, quick little projects to do. Okay, so again, the background is the same. Look, we've got your white um, in your just your plain white. And have they got facets on? Yes, they are faceted, are they? Yeah, they're your faceted whites. But then the medium white and the larger whites don't have any facets on. Um, oh, I think that one does. Hang on a second. 
in there. Yeah, oh, they have got facets on, do I do apologise. Yep, so you've just got your three sizes in your white cover. All your background. Ooh. So we'll go the other way. So that's her skin colour again, which is this beigey colour. Not sure. So I'll see what it looks like when it's on. I'm not quite sure about that. And then we've got the pale blues for her little tunic. And she's got brown for, I presume, her eyebrows. Not quite sure where else the brown goes. Number five. Well, number five is her hair. I would have done that. That should be black, really, shouldn't it? Might have to change that one as well. We've got your pink and your red. The red will be the apples. So where does the pink go? Number five. Four. Sorry, I'm rattling these packets around like a mad thing, aren't I? Number four, number four. Oh, number four is like the little splodges. The little splodges round is number four. And then number two is the apples, which are in that one. Okay. Mm, I'm quite uh, intrigued to do with these, see how they turn out. Pretty little pictures. If you want in a set for a bedroom or for yourself, they'll look quite pretty. There's my little bag on for my drills. Okay, so that's that one. The drills. They've all got the canvas number on them. That one's uh, yeah, DX84. And again, yeah, it does look like they've got DMC codes on them. So. That's good. At least if they're not on the canvas, they are on the actual uh, drills. So I will be able to put them in one of my others. And another little princess. This one's in yellow. Lemon. I don't think they were bad for the price. They're quite sweet. I like the little character across the bottom of the page. <laughs> okay, so another little basic tool kit. And, oh, she's pretty. Very pretty. Okay, they're just a very sort of simple, basic drawing. Um, just trying to think, are they like anime? You've got your little character at the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure what that one is. I know there are some that I watch. Um, is it Kawaii Ake Masters? Yeah, Kawaii Ake Masters. And they tend to uh, win quite a few of these little soft toys. And that's the only reason now I know anything about them. <laughs> don't have anybody watching cartoons. We don't have anybody watching sort of Japanese cartoons at the moment. So I'm out of touch. I'm very out of touch, Grandma. Okay. Now let's look and see what we've got in these. Looks like we've got... The three whites for the background again. Yep, okay. And the same skin tone again. Oh, that's a bright orange. Where, is that going to be her hair then? Number five. Yeah, so she's got ginger hair, this one. Okay. Right, I would have thought she's more that colour hair, but never mind. That one's number four. So where does number four go? Oh, number four's her eyes and her eyebrows and everything. So she's got brown hair. I think she's been dyeing her hair, don't you? Because your eyebrows are usually a similar colour to you. <laughs> and she's just got little pink cheeks. And then we've got the lemon and the blue. Okay, so where does number two go then? Got number one, where does... Okay, come in number two. Where's number two? Blue. Oh, it's in between. Ah, right, we've got blue just in between the white. Number seven's in between the whites. So we're going to have some little flashes of blue. Just splashes in between the whites. Oh, okay. Right, okay, so that's number three. Oh, they are quite pretty. They're growing on me. I'm not going to measure this one because I think you can see it's practically the same size as the others. Those away in there. So then the last one I've got this time is uh, I want to call her Little Princess that comes from the cold. <laughs> I 
think you could tell what they all are. Uh, even I know what these ones are, or would be, or their likenesses of. Some of the others I get a bit confused on these days. Um, I'm very old school, I'm afraid, when it comes to the little cartoon characters. But uh, yeah, but I thought she was quite pretty as well. So again, we've got basic toolkit. Mm. Oh, well, we've got the definite colours in this one. And we've got a large size in the blue in this one. Okay. Now let's have a look. If I can get this open. Okay. Right. So then... Number one, uh, number one is in between the hair, so number one and number five. So she's going to have those colours, put that way around with, fighting with the little bags. It's going to be uh, those colours in the hair, okay. And then we've got the brown again. Even that colour would have been better on there, wouldn't it, rather than that orange. I think I'm going to be doing a bit of switching around on these. Um, we've got a bit of the coral, the blue, and then we've got the definite, uh, this princess's blues. Oh, they're different. Oh, they're very different. Gosh, I thought they were the same colour until I got them together, and then they are very different blues, aren't they? So is that going to be number six is the dress here and the corners and here? And then number 10, yeah, is on your little um, snowflake here and then just dotted around a bit. And then again, the background is the three sizes of the white. Okay. Mm. I'm quite pleased I got these. They're not wildly expensive, but they're not the um, in most inexpensive I've bought, shall we say. Uh, but yeah, so it cost me, as I say, for the four, it was £16.82 delivered. So it works out about £4.20, £4.21 each. Yeah, they're all these six inch squares. So yeah, I just thought you might like to see these. Um, I don't, no, I don't think I'm going to put them in frames. I think these are going to be made into cards for little girls. Or big girls even anyway, there's quite a few... Uh, people I know that do like their princesses so and I've just put that bag somewhere and I don't like this so I'll put that over there okay well I think this must have been one of the quickest unboxings that I've done for a while oops Millie Moo has just come to join me <laughs> hello Millie are you having a good sniff in all the bags right so I wonder if I'll get the others or not. I, say, I think there's another either six or seven. Okay, well, thank you ever so much uh, for joining me to look at these. Uh, if you've enjoyed looking at them, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. The heavy breathing is not me. It is Millie, the little Scotty dog that's just joined me, as I say. Say hello, Millie. Hello, Millie. <laughs> And if you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell when it pops up, then you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So I do appreciate you stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.